The next enhancement I want to make is an attempt to improve on the illusion that there's an endless series of pipes. The thing that probably most undermines that illusion right now is the fact that all the pipes look exactly the same. So there are two things that we could change about them. We can change the geometry and we can change the materials. What I'm going to do is just randomize the material so that every time it's spawned or beams back to its start position, including on game start, it chooses a random material. This will be a finite list, and before you start building the flow graph, you might want to come in here, try some of these different materials, and sort of decide on which ones you're willing to switch to. So I'm going to go to my pipe one flow graph, and what I'm going to do is make this happen just after the pipe has been beamed back to its start position, but I also want it to happen on game start. So I'm going to add another start node here, and I'm going to route both these into something that changes the pipe material. Well, materials are kind of their own special thing, and they have their own nodes. The key thing that I'm interested in here is called Entity Material Change. I'm going to assign the graph entity, and that'll take care of my bottom pipe. And then I'm going to grab another one of these, because I also want to change the top pipe at the same time. Select the first top pipe there, which is now going to make our flow graph entity specific. A little bit tricky and important to remember. And then the trick here is to copy and paste the name of the correct material and the path to it into this box right here. So what I'm going to do here is actually go and pick a different material so I can simply copy the file name and the path. For instance, this rough concrete C looks pretty good. This also gives me the advantage of being able to see what they look like before I sort of commit to them. It's not going to matter what they're set to initially because they're all going to get set randomly in game start anyway. So now what I'm going to do is click in this box, copy this file name and path, and come back to here, and this is where I'd want to actually paste it in. However, I don't want to paste in just one material, I want to pick randomly from a whole list of materials. So I'm going to move these over, we'll get to those eventually. Since we know we're going to want to randomize, I'm going to use my same math random node. And I'm going to use a demultiplexer from the logic group. So the same thing that I did before, this is going to generate a number which I'll set between 0 and 7. I'll take the rounded value so that I know I'm getting an integer. And that'll trigger one of these eight ports. And then what I need to do is take a specific string, a specific material path and file name, and bring it into here. So what I need here is a string function, just simply to set up a string. So if this particular port gets triggered, I'll say I want to use this material. So that gives me the string, and that's going to be mapped to here. But again, the issue I have is I'm going to have eight of these, and if any one of them gets triggered, they all need to feed this same input. So again, what I'm going to need is one of these handy logic any nodes. And then I simply need to create seven more of these. And then I'll change the paths as I go and find some other materials. It's easy to get confused here because the demultiplexer uses 0 through 7 and the logic any uses 1 through 10. And now what I need to do is just paste in some different materials here. So I'm going to fast forward through this particular part of the video and you can go searching for your own materials. You'll note that these nodes, these set string nodes, are going to get wider or skinnier to accommodate the length of the string. And then what I need to do is actually get this to generate both on the beam and on game start. So I'm going to use a logic any. I've got to trigger the set as well as feeding it the name of the material. A quick way to check this would simply be to turn the physics on with control P that also initiates the flow graph and you can see that every time I do this I'm getting a different material. Sometimes this mode setting on the demultiplexer can be a little bit tricky. If you're not getting a result that you expect with the always, try making it specifically only listen to the port that you're using. You're going to use one or the other in most cases. Now that I have this, I can copy it to my other pipes. 
tricky part about this is you have to remember to go in and change the entity ID of the top pipe because it's now specific to this particular flow graph. And we'll save and test. Since we only have eight materials, sometimes we're going to get the same material every time. There we had three in a row. But if we play this long enough, we should see a pretty good feeling of randomization.